I am a follower of such and such a faith. Because that comes with so many preconceptions. People think like, oh, so you're a Christian, so you have to believe A, B, C, and D. And if you don't believe that, then you're not a Christian. Or if I say I'm Muslim, then oh, well, you have to believe this, this, and this. You have to believe a Muslim. Okay. I believe in one true God, and I believe that God doesn't contradict himself. No, I totally agree. You know what I mean? So I can't accept all of it. I can't accept all the Old Testament as the Word of God, and I can't accept all the New Testament as the Word of God, and I can't accept the Quran as the Word of God, because there's conflicting things there. And I choose to believe that Jesus is the closest and most purest thing we can have to the Word of God, and what God wishes for us on earth. And so I take this Quran and I put it against the words of Jesus, and if there's something there that goes against you know, the message that Jesus had, or his spirit, then I have to leave it. So do you... And that's just a personal thing, you know, I, I'm only defending myself here. Like, I'm not so can I ask you a question? Yeah. So what... So in Islam, because we also believe in Jesus as well, I know that. you know, which is, which is fantastic, yes. you know, um, we also believe that Jesus was a prophet of God and he had a set mission and his mission was to to evangelize and to yeah. preach um, the good news and um, we, we, we say that it was the Injil the Injil in Arabic means you know the good news and we believe that that information was specifically to the children of Israel the Quran actually specifically states that Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. The Bible also confirms this. In Matthew, in Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, Jesus said, I was not sent unto, I was not sent except only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And not only that, but Jesus Christ, may the, may the peace and blessings of God be upon him, told his disciples not to preach to the Gentiles. The Gentiles are it's me and you. In Matthew chapter 10 verse 5, Jesus said, Go not in unto the way of the Gentiles. It was a very specific... No, it means like don't follow their ways. It doesn't mean go, go to their... I mean, at the end of John, he says, Go unto all the world and baptize them. Okay. And show, you know, and teach them things I've taught you. Is it go to the whole world? Yeah. But so, there's, there's that, you know. There, there's, a bit of a, there's a bit of a problem here, and I'll tell you what that is. We've got two verses in the New Testament that Jesus specifically said that, that he was sent to the children of Israel alone. In Matthew 15 verse 24, Jesus says, I was only sent except unto the lost sheep of the heart of Israel. Yes. And in Matthew chapter 10 verse 5, he specifically told the disciples, do not go in unto the word of the Gentiles. So the verse that you... The ways the Gentiles, like don't follow their way, their lifestyle. I, I, can, I can read it to you if you wish, hold on. Let me just get out of here. You can be a bit more specific. Because what I don't want to do is like call it out of context. So... If we go to... How long have you been here doing this? I've been here since 2006. <laughs> so I'm part of the furniture. But I don't come here all the time. I just yeah. come here now and again. Do you know Colin? Colin? No, I don't. Colin Patton. He also comes here a lot. Uh, no, I don't. Who? who? Oh, Colin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen him about. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, I'm yeah, staying yeah. with his family. Oh, are you? Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see. Look, Matthews 10. Verse 5 says, These 12 Jesus sent out. Oh, that was, yes, charging that was very them. specific time that he was sending them out. He sent the 12 out. Ho, sh should we read it? Hold yeah, on. let's read it. Yeah. Yeah. These 12 Jesus sent out, charging them, Go nowhere among the Gentiles and enter no town of the Samaritans, but yes. go rather to the lost sheep yeah. of the house of Israel. So now, we have two conflicting verses, right? Wait, look, look, the truth is, do you want to do you want to make a point or do you want to see the truth? Um, we're, we're both making a point here. And I, I'm not wanting to make a point. I want to see the truth, right? I, I, I've always understood that to mean this was for the time, right? He said that on a very specific mission. It was okay. only for three. It was only for a short amount of time, a very specific amount of time. He said that, right? So do you have proof? This wasn't after his death. Okay. So do you have proof that Jesus was sent to the whole entire world? Because if well, that's what he said, you know, in John. Have you read that? The last verse of John. What's it say? Let's go to the last verse of John. How are you telling me that what part of John? The last chapter. Okay, 21. 21. I'd say it's here. 
It'd be really embarrassing if I'm wrong now. Oh, there's a bug on the Okay. What, what's this say? Um, spread among, spread abroad among the brethren. Uh, where is it now? Yeah, I, can't see the I can always search for it too. That's all right. This is uh, King James, isn't it? Uh, it? It's got all different like versions, so what, it depends what version oh, would you I like. See, see, yeah. Have a pick and then you see what you're trying to do. You don't have ESV. Also, hold on. This is the problem. Make disciples of all the nations. Okay. What's okay, it's Matthew. It's the last one in Matthew. Sorry. Okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. So that's what it says, and we will discuss it. Okay. Read full chapter. Right. Can you understand? It's after the resurrection. What about Matthew 28 verse 19 where it speaks about you know going to all the nations? I mean I'm trying to help you here. This, this is this is it, I think. So all authority heaven has been given to me. Go therefore and make oh, disciples of all yes. nations. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's yeah. have a read. So, okay. You know. Right. Right. Let me tell you something about Matthew 28 verse 19. According to the Grolier Encyclopedia, right, it states that Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 is an interpolation, right? It's an interpolated verse. And the reason why it's an interpolated verse, because Peter never baptized in this, in this three-fold formula. Peter, who is a, a disciple of Jesus, never baptized in the, uh, from the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. He only baptized in the name of Jesus. So now the question is, was Peter disobeying Jesus? Because if this was something known from amongst the disciples, sorry, if it was known unilaterally that the disciples knew that they had to baptize using this formula, how come none of the disciples ever baptize using the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? According to Reverend Tom Herper, who is a Christian scholar, he states, I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with Christian scholarship, yeah. Right. According to Reverend Tom Herper, he states that Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 is an interpolated verse. It wasn't actually in a previous codex, which is the Codex Sinaiticus, which is written around the 4th century. So in other words... the new books, the books that aren't in the current Bible no, and the codex. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, the Great Commission was added on? Yeah. Was added on... When, when was that added on? No, no, what I'm saying is that most Christian scholars, they agree yeah. unilaterally that Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 is an interpolated verse. <laughs> oh, you're thirsty. Yeah. 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 I've heard of some of the interpolation, but I've never heard of that. Yeah. They would say the Great Commission would be a later interpretation. No, not a later interpretation, interpolated verse. Interpolation. Yeah, interpolation, yeah. It's, it's, it's the, and do the Christians believe it? Keep going. No, because Keep Peter going. baptized in the name of... Okay, let me just find something. Hold on. Give me a second. So, uh, so Rosie, did you want to carry... Did you want to go for a walk or did you want to carry on? We're going to go for a walk anyway. Okay. You guys, you need to go or? Yeah, well, they're, they're friends from Ireland, so we're going to go, I'm showing the speaker's corner, okay. so we're going to go. Right, right. okay, well, just give me two seconds. Time. Okay. I'll, I'll explain it, because I know right. what you're We right. just have a BB uh, cafe. Oh, yeah. oh, my gosh, nice okay. Too. Well, okay. have a good evening. Thank you. I like the way you carry yourself in your debates. It's those, <laughs> those are rare occasions when two human beings are going to have a respectful conversation. Okay. Have a good evening. And you. Well, Sorry. That was a short discussion. Uh, we were discussing Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. Uh, as we know that Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 is an interpolation because it contradicts so many other verses of the New Testament such as Matthew chapter 15 verse 24 and Matthew chapter 10 verse 5. Come on guys, what's going on? Anyway, Jazakallah um, khair, may Allah reward you and inshallah keep it going. Barakallah